Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about Episode 15. This is the Godspeed episode. Everyone's been looking forward to this, and I can't wait to break down this trailer. Also, we got some more details about his upcoming appearances and the Godspeed war that is coming to The Flash. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so if you have any ideas or theories you want me to include in any videos, I'm going to be doing a Q&A video very soon so you can leave your ideas that you want me to answer in the comments below. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. So this is episode 15, like I said, Godspeed is finally coming. We have been building up to this for years now and we are going to conclude it with a four episode arc. Which as I've said before, I think it's a little bit too short considering how big this has been teased to be because they've been setting up for literally years now. But either way, I think it's gonna be pretty good and it's definitely gonna be better than some of the stuff we've got recently. Let's go ahead and break down this trailer. So the first shot of the trailer, you see Godspeed fully suited up. This is one of the clones presumably because according to the synopsis, we have a lot of the Godspeed clones showing up in this episode, so it isn't like the main Godspeed. I believe the main Godspeed, and we're going to go over the synopsis for the next episode after this, is supposed to be showing up in episode 16. So let's move on to the next shot. So we got Barry, and he is talking to someone, and then we cut over to Chester, who is in Star Labs in his new kind of lab, and he warns Barry that Godspeed is back, and Barry in this shot looks outside the window, with Cecile in the background, this is in his lab at CCPD, and he is looking in shock, and there is like a kind of bright light going over his face. We can infer that this is the Godspeeds returning, and in this next shot in Star Labs, the whole place is shaking, the lights going on and off, so I presume it's some sort of like speed force storm, or some sort of disturbance caused by the army of Godspeeds coming to Central City. And so all the lights are like flickering on and off and Barry is like Godspeed in this shot where you see Barry just like from another angle and he's fully suited up in the flash suit. People are going to be very excited that he is like going to have a proper big battle with Godspeed this episode. And obviously not just one Godspeed but multiple Godspeeds because there is an army of Godspeed clones. But let's move on to the next thing. So we have Godspeed running through the city and I actually tried to take a photo and he's going so fast that literally he's at the end of the road, then he's like past the camera already. So along with Chester saying, man, he's so fast, it's true. Like look at any of this and you can tell he is so fast. So Barry definitely has his work cut out for him in terms of battling these god speeds because he is the god of speed. The main guy operating behind all of this is the one sending the clones. You know, he's like making duplicates of himself. And so Barry and Godspeed come face to face in this next shot. So, this shot is where you saw at the start, and Barry speeds into here, I have no idea what it is, but it looks very high tech, it looks like some sort of control center, there is like points on the map, I'm not sure what they specifically mean, but you do see Godspeed here as Barry confronts him, we cut to the next shot just from another angle, Barry speeds in, and Godspeed does his typical like arms out, like I am the god of speed, like give me your speed, I presume he's saying in this shot. And it seems like Godspeed isn't going to only be attacking Central City and being around. He's going to be targeting Team Flash, or specifically the Flash. And in this next shot, Chester is hiding out and he says, We have a perimeter breach and the lights are kind of flickering on and off again. So it does seem like the whole Godspeed army is coming to Star Labs. And Chester also says after this, it's a trap. And it most definitely is a trap. So we go back to that room, we have a really nice look at Godspeed. Again, the suit is exactly the same as we've seen before. Now we're just going to actually fully find out what these clones were made for and what were their reasons. Obviously we got the teaser that the main Godspeed wants to be the god of speed and the most powerful speedster out there. And he wants infinite velocity was his line back last season. So this is what presumably this clone we're seeing right here is being sent to, you know, take the Flash, bring the Flash back to his master, and he can siphon his speed off, but, you know, the Flash isn't going to give up without a fight. So we go to Star Labs, it seems like Frost is going to be helping out, and also Chillblain, who is supposedly teaming up with Frost in this shot, and they say, 
it's too late and then you know you have the Star Wars reference it's a trap with Chester in this next shot as the Godspeeds definitely approach okay so Barry's lab gets this window shattered in so I'm presuming this is all the Godspeeds going around and they create some sort of kinetic energy or some sort of energy field that basically wipes out or like disturbs a lot of the city and that's why like the electrical grid is going on and off and you have like things like this happening where the windows are being smashed in maybe godspeed is coming himself to barry however i would say it's more likely that some sort of natural occurrence is happening with all of that energy being so strong that it's affecting everywhere and so yeah this is definitely barry's lab because you see barry in this next shot he runs and he tries to save Cecile from the shattering windows that you saw in the shot before. And we move around and Barry runs around the corner. The windows are still shattering and Barry protects Cecile as he does run around. And it seems like Godspeed is facing off against Barry in this shot as Barry really angrily faces off against him. And, and all of this really does remind me of when Zoom came to Star Labs. Because I think the fact of them coming and like them just wiping everyone out and taking the Flash, throwing him out on the street, I think that is really, really scary and like that makes for a good action scene with the Flash. Because it's always great to see like speedsters fighting against each other, but when it affects everyone, I think it's even better. So like you got Chester, he's down on the ground here inside the special room. I always forget what the room is called. You guys can remind me in the comments below. I don't know, I just got a bad memory from the name of the room, I always forget it. Anyway, the place where, you know, we normally see the newspaper, and so Chester is down on the ground, and also Barry at one point is down on the ground, presumably in Star Labs as well, and it doesn't look like this was during the Cecile shot with Barry saving Cecile, because Barry wasn't in the suit, but now he's fully suited up, and he's been flung onto the ground, there's glass all around him, and it seems like he is being extremely hurt by Godspeed, and... Again, we go to another shot and he is laying on the ground, but this time outside and he's just totally wiped out and it seems like Godspeed is really getting the upper hand on Barry and then we got this last final shot of the trailer and it's just heavily bright and overexposed. I presume this is because Godspeed is maybe like throwing his lightning at Barry or something. So it's all super exciting, that's pretty much it for the trailer. We do have some photos for this week's episode as well we're going to go over. So we have Barry right here and he's with Chester and this is definitely when they're first finding out about Godspeed and Chester is like okay like this is where we've spotted Godspeeds or all these different versions of him and you know here's the pattern go here to try and take down Godspeed I presume something like that's happening. We get like an alternate photo just from a slightly different angle of that scene then we got Killer Frost who is helping out with Chester and the team and all these photos are in the exact same room in Star Labs in the Cortex and they're just going to be helping out and we move on to the next photo and the final one is a Barry and he's just like facing off from like the medical bay and he's in normal clothes so I don't know if this is before or after I would presume it's before any of the battle actually ensues so the final two things I want to go over is this so we have the synopsis for this episode we're gonna quickly go over it and also we have some details about the episode after which feature the real Godspeed so episode 15 synopsis goes like this when an army of Godspeeds attack Central City Barry and Iris must put their family plans on hold and focus on the latest threat to their home Meanwhile, Jill Blaine is released from prison and claims to be reformed, but Frost has her doubts. So, we talked about Frost and Jill Blaine, like they're just going to be working together, they've set that thing up. And in this episode, you're going to be getting a lot of the Flash, because Barry's going to be fighting off against this Godspeed army who attack Central City. Barry and Iris' family plans, that's been heavily hinted at in the last couple of episodes. So basically, he's just going to be focusing on, you know, stopping Godspeed from messing up the city. And so, who is in this episode? Well, we know Kristen Kramer is going to be showing up. We know Ultraviolet is at least going to have like one or two scenes. And Chill Blaine is showing up. These are the guest stars. Obviously, alongside all the Godspeed clones, but they don't have like guest star appearances because, you know, it's just like a bunch of people. Okay, so episode 16 is titled POW, which means Prisoner of War. And you have John Diggle showing up in this episode. And so, this is how the synopsis goes. John Diggle arrives in Central City with a weapon to help Barry stop the Godspeed War. 
Meanwhile, Allegra and Ultraviolet's new bond is put to the ultimate test while Joe and Christian Kramer are hunted by a former colleague of hers. Okay, so this episode sounds interesting because this is going to be still lots about Godspeed. Obviously, they only have four episodes overall, so this is the third to last episode of the season. And the next episode after this is the 150th episode, so they have to get to the point of why Godspeed's here and how they're going to take him down pretty damn fast. So, Digger was going to be showing up, he's going to have a weapon to help Barry stop the Godspeed war. And it's interesting that Diggle is involved in this, and I can't wait to see him you know actually in the episode and how he's going to contribute to trying to stop the godspeeds i think this is weird that we're having ultraviolet actually show up for three episodes in a row they're making a big deal out of this and we just thought she was going to show up for that one episode this week with allegra so i'm going to be honest i'm not a fan of that and i have no idea why they're doing that you know i guess they are trying to give allegra a story but it isn't very interesting at all because allegra isn't a good character and so, who is showing up in this episode? So, obviously, Christian Kramer, because she's got the Joe storyline. They're going after her ex-colleague who betrayed the team. Then you have Ultraviolet showing up. Also, Dion Owens is supposed to return. Dion, who is obviously the still force. I don't know why he's back, but I guess that's pretty cool. And I wasn't expecting to see any of the forces back, but that's what's going on there. We have Karen Oberry. And I have no idea how to say his name, so I apologize if I butchered it, but he is credited as Mystery Man. This means he's probably the real Godspeed, because the real Godspeed is showing up, and I'm pretty sure he's been cast as the main Godspeed. That's why he would be called Mystery Man. I mean, they never reveal it. Like, Nora was always credited in Season 4 when she made those brief appearances as Mystery Girl, so I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. And obviously, John Diggle is in the episode played by... David Ramsey. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. What do you think about all this? I'm looking forward to the Godspeed stuff, of course. I can't believe we are finally getting there. It's a shame that it's only four episodes, but you know, what are you going to do? I'm pretty sure it's going to be pretty good. I think it's a bit weird that we're getting so much ultraviolet, like three episodes in a row. I'm not so optimistic about that, and I think a lot of you guys would agree with that, but I'm pretty sure that is just Eric Wallace trying to give Allegra something to do, and like, People have said this, but I don't think Allegra would be on the show if it wasn't for Eric Wallace creating her and wanting her to stick around because no one really likes her character. She's just not a good character, but that's about it for this video, guys. Please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you're new. You can click on the top right corner of the screen right now to watch my latest video. But for now, catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.